Hi, welcome back to Clodden Painting Studio. Rudy here again. Here's part two of our video on the Bronze Age Chariot, the crew. The charioteers have had a spray prime with army painter barbarian flesh. And the first thing I'm going to do is wash all the exposed skin. Got some army painter flesh wash and quick shade mixing medium in a three to two ratio washed medium and um, also with a dash of citadel purple wash in there just to add a bit of depth to the color now the wash is dry we'll start with uh, the base color for our white areas using Vallejo game color elfic flesh um, so there's some trim around his skirt. Do we call them kilts if they're um, Bronze Age Sea Peoples? Not sure. The shield is going to be an animal hide, so it'll be a mix of white and a darker colour on there. So I'll just start off a little bit of a pattern here. There's a couple of squares divided by the trim on the skirt. So a bit of army painter pure red. We'll do the pattern here. Uh, the other square I will fill in with some army painter crystal blue. You can see I've done the sash around his middle in the crystal blue as well. So a bit of wood to paint um, the javelins on the back of the shield. I've got some extra uh, game extra opaque heavy brown from Vallejo. I'll pick out the leather with some game extra opaque heavy sienna again from Vallejo. Um, got chin straps on the helmet, strap going across the shoulder. And the leather wrap on the sword um, and sandals as well. To complete the hide on the shield I've got some Vallejo model color uh, German camo black brown and I'll also use this color for any hair on the models. Time to break out the bronze. Um, Eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that I have gone back to do the horns on this helm with some elfic flesh. So basically all, all metal work is going to be bronze. From blade of sword to tip of javelin. have some army painter strong tone mixed one to one with the quick shade mixing medium um, and I'm applying that to everything except the skin to provide some shading. I will get a bit on the feet and the toes but that doesn't matter so much you'd expect them to be um, a bit grubby from walking about in sandals in the desert. The first round of highlights um, is going to be the base colours. Um, so, starting with Barbarian Flesh from Army, <coughs> from Army Painter for the skin. Leaving it in the, re um, the shaded uh, colour in the recesses. 
a little bit of pure red. I'm going to completely fill in um, all of the cloth. We will leave some of the darker colour. Even when there aren't massive folds sculpted in, you can create the look of it by leaving some of your shaded colour. And onto the crystal blue. Off white to pick out the lining, uh, the outline of the squares on the cloth. This trim here between the panels. On the shield, I'll try and leave the shaded colour towards the border with the darker area. To create a bit of a transition effect between the two. Back with the heavy brown, keeping my strokes vertical uh, down the shafts of the javelin, as well as creating a highlight it can simulate um, a wood grain pattern if you keep the vertical strokes. On a couple of occasions I'm not going to use the base colour um, for the first highlight. This is just to get a bit more contrast between the two layers. So over the black brown I have some Army Painter Oak Brown and it will help to simulate a bit of a pattern of hide and hair by leaving the darker colour in the recesses. And for the leather, um, some Vallejo Model Colour Saddle Brown. And by sticking to the edges, we get a bit of highlight and also perhaps the effect of wear and chafing on the leather. Some areas will get a second highlight, such as the skin. Um, I've added some Vallejo model colour light flesh to the barbarian flesh. Just a, a touch is needed to uh, lighten this enough to form a second highlight colour. I think light flesh on its own is too um, too white. It's sort of a very light pink. The red is getting a highlight with Vallejo model colour Scarlet. I'm using consistent colours across um, all components of this commission. And they'll all be written down below in the description. Some Void Shield Blue. Very light highlighting of the crystal blue. And some coat d'arms white just to pick out a couple of spots on the trim. This helps to suggest a bit of a, a ripple in the fabric as well. So I'll put this in the centre of the shield and along the very edge. Tip the horns. 
try and dot the eyes. Second highlight on the wood with some Vallejo cork brown. One highlight to follow after this, which you don't need to see, is on the bronze. And then I'll get everything matte varnish and into the final build with the chariot and horse. I hope you've enjoyed a look at how the crew were painted for this Bronze Age Sea People's Chariot. Um, We've seen the horses and the crew, the final parts of the chariot itself, coming soon. Bye.